website at radiomaria.us through your smartphone on the Radio Maria Play app and on your home phone at 631-359-8743 on the radio in Louisiana on 580 AM KJMJ Alexandria, 1360 AM KNIR New Iberia, 89.7 FM KBIO Natchitoches and 91.1 FM KOJO Lake Charles in Texas on 1250 AM, KDEI Port Arthur, in Ohio, on 88.7 FM, WHJM Anna, 1600 AM, WULM Springfield, with translator W277AO, 103.3 FM, Eden Dayton, in Pennsylvania, on 88.1 FM, WHHN Hollidaysburg, Altoona, in Mississippi, also on 88.1 FM, WOLM Diabaville, Biloxi, in Wisconsin, on 91.3 FM, WRMW Peshtigo, in Florida, on 91.9 FM, WMKL Hammocks, Miami, and in Tennessee on 1280 AM, WMCP Columbia, with translator W255DK 98.9 FM, also in Columbia. Healing of the Soul, a walk with the great physician, our Lord Jesus Christ, the healer of the wounds of the soul. Here is your host, Samia Zumount. Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to Radio Maria, a Catholic voice in your home. I am your host, Samia Zuma, with your program, Healing of the Soul. We will start with a prayer, as always. My topic for today uh, is about the wounds that we have in our um, hearts uh, that cause us low self-esteem, cause us lies about ourselves, and the power of words. But before that, we will start with a prayer. It's so important to always start everything with a prayer. Uh, First of all, to glorify God, but also to pray for our world. Uh, Intercede for our world, intercede for humanity uh, that is so so needed these days uh, to pray, 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 just like Our Lady uh, always asks us to do. Pray, pray, pray. Uh, Prayer is the oxygen of our soul. We cannot live without prayer. Uh, Prayer is our connection uh, to God, uh, who is our strength. So let's start with a prayer, starting in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise you, we adore you, we glorify you, we worship you. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, for gifting us with one more day of life, one more breath of air, one more heartbeat. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for all the blessings that we have that we so often take for granted and we forget to say thank you. Forgive us, Heavenly Father, for the spirit of ingratitude, the spirit of pride, where we think that we what we have is actually Uh, comes to us because of our own strength and we forget that everything that we have is a grace of yours we praise you Lord Jesus we adore you we glorify you we worship you Lord Jesus we thank you Lord Jesus for shedding every drop of blood for each and every one of us on a personal level because you love us so infinitely Thank you, Lord Jesus, for paying the price with your life for our sins. I ask you and I pray, Lord Jesus, right now to cover each and every one of us with your precious blood. Cover each person who is listening to me, our families, our country, the entire world with your precious blood. Cleanse us, Lord Jesus, from all that is not from you, especially from the spirit of fear, the spirit of anxiety, depression, suicide, the spirit of addiction, so many addictions these days, so many people struggling with addictions. 
to alcohol, to drugs, to pornography, to sex, to gambling, to gluttony, to social media, to so many addictions that take the place, your place from our hearts. Lord Jesus, heal us from the root of our addictions. Whatever we've suffered in our childhood that has led us to uh, resort to addictions instead of resorting to you. You are the only divine physician of our souls. Heal us, Lord Jesus. We cannot do it without you, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that by the power of your precious blood, you would break the spirit right now, the demonic spirit in the world that wants to destroy our planet, to destroy lives. Lord Jesus, I pray for all the people who are who do not know you, who have never experienced your love, for all the sinners and unbelievers, for all the people right now who are being used by the enemy to cause destruction, to cause war. Lord Jesus, I pray for the leaders of the world, for the leaders of the world, for the presidents, for the politicians, for the people who work um, in the communications, for the people who are powerful in the world, Lord Jesus. I pray for the conversion of anyone who is not aligned with you, aligned with your commandments. Jesus, touch their hearts with your love. Touch all of us with your love, Lord Jesus. Wake us all up, Lord Jesus, so that we would recognize how short this life is in comparison to eternity. We were given free will. Give us the strength to choose with our free will the path of holiness and not the path of destruction. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit and fill us with your love to fill the emptiness in our hearts. Fill us with your truth to liberate us from the lies that we believe about ourselves and about God. I consecrate myself fully to you, Holy Spirit. I give you my nothingness so that you would speak through me. You know the needs of each listener right now, their struggles, their pain, whatever they're going through on a personal level or the situations of their families. Consume us with the fire of your love, Holy Spirit. Give us the discernment to be able to discern the lies from the truth. We are infested with so many lies in our world. Give us your grace, Holy Spirit, during these difficult times that we are going through. Most Blessed Mother Mary, we love you, we praise you, we thank you, Blessed Mother Mary, for being our mother, for guiding us through these times to your Son, Jesus. Thank you for your humility, for your love. Thank you for being our mother. We pray for your intentions, Blessed Mother Mary for the victory of your Immaculate Heart. Cover us all with your mantle of love and protection. Cover our families with your love and protection. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, pillar of the families, protector of the Holy Church. We pray Saint Joseph that you would also intercede for us, especially intercede for families these days, so many broken families. Intercede for the youth 
so many youth who are lost, confused. Because of so many ideologies, so many things, they are bombarded with so many lies. Protect the youth, especially, I pray St. Joseph, for everyone who has suffered because they did not experience the love of a father. You are the model father. You were chosen amongst all men to be the spouse of our Blessed Mother Mary and the father of our Lord Jesus, the adoptive father of our Lord Jesus. I pray for anyone who has suffered from a lack of fatherly love or an abandonment of a father, that you would become their father. We pray for all the priests, nuns, consecrated, deacons. We often forget that they are human like us. And instead of praying, offering penance for them, we judge them. Lord Jesus, heal all of our priests. Heal all your consecrated men and women from the moment of their conception till the moment, present moment so that they would be beacons of light in this world that is so filled with lies. Give them the courage during these times to remain steadfast in the truth, in faith at all costs. Protect them, protect them the, during these times. Also where the enemy is attacking your church with fury. Give us all the grace to remain faithful to you, Lord Jesus, until the end. We pray for all the people who are sick. So many people have cancer especially these days Lord I pray for anyone who has cancer anyone who has is going through radiation or chemotherapy anyone who has problems with high blood pressure problems heart problems diabetes arthritis Parkinson dementia Alzheimer immune system problems, autism, or any other illness, Lord Jesus, anything that anybody with disabilities, Lord Jesus, you know the needs of each person who is listening to me and our family members. Heal us, Lord Jesus. First, heal us spiritually because that's the most important healing, is the healing of our soul. But if it is your will, Lord Jesus, to heal us physically so that it would be for the glory of God the Father, we know, Lord Jesus, that nothing is impossible for you. Only say the word and we shall be healed. But if it's not the will of the Father for us to be healed physically, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to give all the sick people the grace to unite our suffering your suffering on the cross for our own sanctification and the sanctification of others in the body of Christ in the church Lord Jesus I pray for all pregnant women that they would choose life that their babies would be born without any problems or complications and for all couples who are so desperate to have a child but they cannot conceive, Lord Jesus, nothing is impossible for you to grant them this gift of life that so many people who can have children take it for granted. I pray for all souls who are in agony right now, who are dying, who are about to take their last breath today, 
that they would take refuge in your divine mercy, Lord Jesus. Protect them from the attacks of the enemy. So that they would trust, Lord Jesus, completely in your divine mercy. I pray, Lord Jesus, for all souls in purgatory, especially that souls that nobody prays for them. I pray especially for all the victims of natural disasters, especially the victims of the Maui fires, the victims of the earthquake in Morocco, and all natural disasters around the world, Lord Jesus. I pray for all the people who are mourning the loss of a loved one. Come Holy Spirit and console them. I pray right now for the intentions of each person who is listening to me. The Lord Jesus loves you so much and he is listening to the whispers of your heart. Give to the Lord Jesus the petitions that you have in your heart. He always answers our prayers. Not necessarily in the way we pray or ask, but in the best form for our proper, for our own sanctification and the sanctification of the souls of the people we are praying for. We pray all of this, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As I mentioned, um, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the topic for the, today is the root of low self-esteem, lies about ourselves, and the power of words. You know, uh, we so often from our childhood uh, have suffered from uh, whether it's our parents, whether it's school or different people who uh, have crossed our paths. Um, we are told things uh, because people sometimes don't think uh, or maybe because they themselves uh, have suffered um, in their childhood. Um, they tell us things that are so cruel uh, or cause us to believe lies about ourselves, uh, such as, as simple as that, uh, saying to someone in the childhood, you know, you often hear that uh, from parents tell their children, oh, you are so stupid, you can't do anything right, you're not good enough, or you are so ugly, we hear even kids tell that to each other. Um, and all of these things, when we are children, they cause us so much damage. They cause us um, to have low self-esteem. You know, I think uh, of the words from the letter of St. James, chapter 3, starting verse 6. He says the following about the tongue. Powerful words by St. James. He says, and the tongue is a fire. The tongue is an, an unrighteous world among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the cycle of nature, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by humankind. But no human being can tame the tongue, a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it, we bless the Lord and Father, and with it, we curse men who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brethren, this ought not to be so. The word of the Lord. You know, he is so right. Uh, the tongue is such a powerful tool. It's kind of like a knife. You can use it to cut steak. 
or you can use it to kill someone. And when we were children, uh, we so often have heard things that have caused us trauma. And till the day, even when we are adults, um, I'm going to use certain examples from my own life uh, by, by how I was affected um, by things that were told uh, in front of me by others. And, uh, and sometimes things are said out of ignorance and sometimes they're said on purpose, but they have affected me. And thanks be to our Lord Jesus, who is the healer of the soul. He has healed me from the lies that I believed about ourselves, about myself. But I remember, for example, when I was about um, five years old or so, uh, we went to visit family members. Uh, and I was with my mom and two siblings. Uh, we, are, we were back then three, now we are four siblings but back then we were three siblings and we were born in three years so i was the youngest and then my brother uh, my brothers were i believe we were five six and seven and we went to visit a lady um who is a family member and this lady uh looked at my uh, brothers and she made the statement to my mom before in front of me she said to her, oh, your sons are so handsome. They are fair skinned. Um, but your daughter, she's a brunette. Oh, poor thing. And in my mind, as I was listening, even though I was only five years old or so, I took her words that she said, my brothers are handsome because they are fair skinned. Uh, and that I was a brunette, poor thing. I took it in my mind that she's saying that I'm really, really ugly. And um, I went home with my mom that day and I asked my mom if we had yogurt at the house. And my mom said to me, why? I said to her, I would like to put yogurt on my skin thinking that if I put yogurt on my skin, imagine in the mind of a five-year-old, that yogurt will make me fair-skinned like my brothers and that I would be pretty because I believed about myself just from that small sentence that that, that lady said that I was ugly. And that really affected me. My mom actually tried to understand the logic of my thinking and then I told her, mom, it's because I'm ugly. And she said to me, you're not ugly. But for some reason, my mom's word did not work on me. It wasn't until maybe 30 years later, imagine 30 years later, that I was in a prayer session uh, where we went back to this memory and our Lord Jesus in the memory um, told me, you are not ugly. I created you with the perfect skin color with the perfect skin color and you are the jewel of my eyes and so the Lord Jesus with his truth set me free from a lie that I believed about myself for so many years and then he took me to another memory um, because I was still believing uh, that I was still ugly and I was trying to understand okay we healed I got healed from that lie why am I still believing that there is still ugliness in me and I ended up being in another memory uh, when I was in second grade and I was at school and um, I went to school that day it was a public a, I'm sorry private school and we wore uniforms and it was a summer day. However, I had woken up that day with a rash. Um, I'm not sure if I got bit by something, but I had a rash all over my body. And I was so embarrassed that I did not wear my uh, summer uniform, uh, which would have shown my arms and my legs. Uh, but I was wearing the, the winter uniform, which covered me up. So when I was in class, uh, 
my teacher, who happened to be at the time my favorite teacher, she looked at me and she said, Samia, why are you wearing the winter uniform? I said, just because that's what well, that was my answer, because uh, I, I did not want her to uh, call me out in the class. I just said, just because she said, uh, is there something wrong with you? She really stopped the whole class to come and uh, approach me. And then I wanted just to die. I wanted to uh, disappear. And she said to me, um, uh, what's wrong with you? I said, nothing. And she started uh, lifting up the sleeves of the sweater that I had on. And she started seeing the rash on my body. She said, what is that? Do you have a rash? And then I was quiet because I was so embarrassed. And of course, when you are in second grade, you're about seven or eight years old uh, with the teacher. And then um, when they started seeing the rash on my, my arms and she started looking all over my body, the response of the children uh, was, ooh, that is so ugly, that is so ugly. Um, you know, that's what kids do, unfortunately. And then at that moment, uh, I really believed about myself that I was ugly. Uh, I was convinced that I was ugly, that I was like a monster. Um, and when I was in the prayer session again, uh, 30 years later, the Lord Jesus um, healed me with his truth and told me that my teacher did not mean anything negative by what she was doing. She was just concerned. And the reaction of the children was a reaction that children also don't always know what they're doing, but that I wasn't ugly, that I just had a skin reaction, I had an allergic reaction, and that I was beautiful. And that also uh, re set me free from the lies that I, be that I believed about myself. We so often don't think that just simple memories like that, simple things that happen to us like that, can affect us, can traumatize us for many, many years. And one more incident that happened to me was an incident um, uh, where I, you know, it's funny. Um, I speak four languages. I studied to become an attorney and I became an attorney. And despite all of that, down deep inside of my heart, I believed I was not smart enough. Um, and you think, how is that possible? But uh, we know we so often, we are so good at wearing masks. We uh, pretend something uh, from the outside. We pretend uh, we are uh, good enough or smart enough, but on the inside, we are bleeding. Uh, because down deep inside of our hearts, we are infested with lies. Uh, and the lies always come from the enemy. And so, um, again, in another prayer session, uh, I wanted to go to the root of why is it that I believe that I was not good enough? I was not smart enough. And I ended up being in two memories. The first one was, again, in a classroom where the teacher would ask a question and all the hands would go up. And I honestly did not know the response to the question of the teacher. Uh, so I would not raise my hand up. But I believed because I used to see all the other children raise their hands up. I believed I must be really dumb because I'm the only one who does not know the response. And when I was in prayer, um, the Lord showed me a scene of uh, when, uh, when I would attend daily mass back then when I was healthy enough, because right now I'm extremely disabled. I can't go to daily mass anymore. And I would see uh, children uh, uh, in, you know, at, at mass uh, in the morning when they come to church and the priest would ask a question 
and all the children's hands would go up um, and it triggered that memory in my mind when that would when that happened when I was a kid myself and the priest would ask a question to the children and all the hands would go up uh, during mass I'm not sure if uh, you've seen that during daily mass yourself and the priest would ask a children the children a question and the children would answer with the most adorable answers but it was not the right answer and then that was the image that came to my mind that just because everyone's hand went up that doesn't mean they knew the right answer and just because my hand did not go up that did not make me dumb it just made me an honest person who did not know the answer and so the lord was setting me free again from the lie that i believed about myself that i was dumb i just did not know the answer and I did not raise my hand, and just because I was honest not to raise my hand, I was not dumb. I was smart, I am smart, because the Holy Spirit dwells within me. The Holy Spirit, who is God, the third person of the Holy Trinity, we often forget that, dwells within each one of us. We are the temples of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us the graces for everything. Each and every one of us is so unique, so loved by God, treasured. We were created in God's image and likeness. Uh, none of us are dumb. None of us are uh, ugly. None of us were born with the wrong skin tone or skin color or in, in a way, um, that um, is uh, faulty uh, we are perfectly made by god that doesn't make us perfect but we are perfectly made by god and we are infinitely loved by god the problem is is when we believe lies about ourselves just like a few of the examples that i gave about myself uh, to help you identify maybe with the lies that you have believed about yourself. Um, all of these things contribute um, to us uh, carrying and living sometimes 30, 40, 50, 60 years, uh, believing things uh, that have hindered us. Um, so many people, for example, uh, never go to college uh, or don't study uh, because they've heard in their childhood you know what? You are so dumb. You are so stupid. You are never going to amount to anything. And I, and I remember um, when I used to pray with people one-on-one, -on -one, and I still do, um, about lies such as these about themselves. Uh, we end up in childhood memories where a parent would tell them, you are dumb. You are stupid. You are not good enough. And they say, then they would believe, why should I go to college? Why should I study? if I'm not smart enough, which is also a lie from the enemy. And so um, we're going, I wanna give you our phone number um, for the call in, uh, for to call in into our studio. Um, if you would like me to pray with you uh, for any memory that uh, uh, needs healing by our Lord Jesus Christ, the number in the studio is 866-333-6279, 866-333-6279. You do not need to say your name. At least Larry will not give me your name on the air. So that way you can remain anonymous and you can talk freely. Um, and I would love to pray with you uh, for any intention also that you might have. 866 333 Six two seven nine. We're going to take a short break, and after that, hopefully, uh, you can call in, and I would love to pray with you.
se pošalje naša srca duha ljubavi, da ti se s ljubavu klanjam i na tvoju haristijsku ljubav odgovorimo s ljubav. Signore ti su mandalci lo spirito di amore, possiamo al tuo amore eucaristico a rispondere con l'amore. Herr Jesus, in der den Geist der Liebe, dass wir auf deine eucharistische Liebe mit Liebe antworten können. Lord Jesus, in das Spirit of Love, so that we may answer with love, your eucharistic love. Nova, je suis l'Esprit d'amour, pour pouvoir répondre avec l'amour à ton amour eucharistique. Jezu, ześlij ducha miłości do naszych serc, abyśmy Cię adorowali z miłością i abyśmy potrafili odpowiedzieć z miłością na Twoją eucharystyczną miłość. Jezu, Enta ruch al-mahabby, Enta bca'ad na'achal al-mahabby, Mishilal al-bain al-maddas. Thank you very much, Larry. Again, I'd like to give the phone number for anyone who wants to call in uh, for a prayer. Is The number is 866-333-6279. 866-333-6279. Um, I just got a question uh, from a, a, a student uh who is in fifth grade asking asking if i ever get sad uh because i cannot go outside um for those who uh are listening for the first time i am extremely disabled from the neck to the feet uh, the only time i go outside uh, is on sundays to go to mass with great difficulty um because of my disability uh, to answer that question, uh, I actually don't get sad uh, because uh, I feel, uh, I know the purpose of my illness. I know the purpose uh, of why I'm disabled. Um, and I unite my suffering to the cross of our Lord Jesus. So I don't waste any of it. And, um, and I feel that my condition has um, allowed me uh, to be more in prayer, more time in prayer in my room. And I think of my room and my bedroom as a convent. Um, I am in the world, but I'm away from the world. And I spend my time in prayer and uh, in union with our Lord Jesus. So when we are united to our Lord Jesus uh, in prayer, regardless of the circumstances that we are in, uh, we have this incredible peace in our hearts, incredible joy in our heart that only can come from God. Uh, and thanks be to God uh, that as I went through the inner healing journey uh, that I've gone through over the past, uh, I would say right now, 33 years, and I continue going on this healing journey because uh, the Lord is constantly healing us until our last breath on earth, healing our souls. Um, I, I am uh, more united to our Lord than ever. And we are in union with our Lord Jesus Christ uh, 
we really um, have this peace that surpasses human understanding. And uh, we become more and more detached of uh, the material world. At least that's been my case. Uh, so what used to maybe um, make me, uh, you know, when I used to be in the world, I had maybe less time for prayer. I, even though I used to go to daily mass and go to adoration daily, but now I feel like every breath I take is a prayer to our Lord Jesus. I'm in constant union with him. So no, I don't feel any sadness. Uh, I feel uh, the, the value of my suffering for our Lord Jesus. Um, going back to my topic uh, about uh, low self-esteem, again, I wanna give the phone number for anyone who has a prayer petition. With the little time we have left, it's 866-333-6279. You are listening to Samia Zuma with your program, Healing of the Soul. Um, you know, another thing that parents do uh, or adults do with children that can lead them to have low self-esteem um, is when they compare uh, their children to each other. Uh, so many parents, unfortunately, do that. They compare a child to another child. Um, uh, for example, oh, why aren't you as smart as your brother or sister? Uh, or even physically speaking, oh, your sister is so much prettier or uh, thinner or um, uh, just different things that parents don't realize that they're causing damage uh, when they are comparing uh, children, their children to each other. Uh, please, please um, invoke the Holy Spirit. Uh, parents, adults, Invoke the Holy Spirit as soon as you wake up in the morning. Um, I invoke the Holy Spirit as soon as I wake up. I invoke the Holy Spirit before, um, before any radio program because I know that I am broken and I don't want to be an instrument to cause damage. I want to be an instrument of God's love, of God's uh, truth in this, of God's light in this world. Um, and so... It is so important for us to be careful, just like St. James said in his letter, of the power of the tongue, uh, that we would use our tongue uh, to bless, uh, not to curse, uh, to bring life, not to kill, not to damage. Um, and you know, I also think of the bullying that happens around um, in, in, in these days, the bullying uh, with words, uh, the bullying that happens over social media, how much damage it has been causing to people, especially young people, young people who have committed suicide because of words, you know, because of being told mean things on social media. Uh, parents, please, please uh, watch what your children, your children have been given uh, telephones uh, at all ages you know I see sometimes uh, kids as young as three years old who have a phone um, and um, they're becoming addicted to their phones they're becoming addicted to social media and there's so much uh, cyber bullying that happens uh, I don't need to tell you you hear that on the news about how many young people have killed themselves because they've been bullied. Uh, they, they are bullied even without social media. They're bullied at schools. And I always think, what has happened to the person who is bullying others? Uh, because anybody who bullies somebody else is a person who maybe themselves have been bullied at their house by their own father or mother. Uh, because again, uh, they are manifesting something from their hearts that lacks love, that lacks um, uh, empathy. Uh, they are projecting onto others uh, the darkness in their own souls, uh, the hurt in their own souls. And, um, and so it's really, really important uh, for 
teachers, for parents uh, to watch their words, but also to look for the signs of what is happening with my, with my child if their behavior changes suddenly, um, if they seem depressed or isolated. Um, and talk to your children. Talk to your children um, if you see them because you don't want uh, to be one of those parents that one day says, what happened? Why did my child commit suicide? Um, so that just came to my mind as I mentioned, um, as I mentioned the power of words um, because of bullying uh, that happens a lot to children. Um, again, um, I, I want to say, I don't know if there are any calls. I, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think it's 866-333-6279, but I want to say a quick prayer in the little time that we have left for anyone who suffers from low self-esteem, who believes lies about their themselves that maybe you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not, um, you don't have any gifts, you don't have any talents, there's no purpose for your life. Uh, these are all lies from the enemy. These are all lies from the enemy. So let's just say a prayer for anyone who suffered in their childhood uh, and is still suffering because of these lies. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you, Lord Jesus, right now, I pray that to cover all of us with your precious blood from all the and, and cleanse us from all the lies that we've believed about ourselves in our childhood. A lot of us have heard things that are not truth, such as you are not good enough, you are worthless, you're never going to amount to anything. Or maybe we never heard words of validation telling us that we are God's children, we are smart we are intelligent we have we all have gifts each and every one of us have specific gifts and talents and a specific mission that only we can fulfill in this world we are all so precious because we are god's children god does not create garbage he created us good. So Lord Jesus, heal us. Heal us from the moment of our conception till the present moment. From anything that we have experienced in our childhood that made us believe that there is something wrong with us. That we are not good enough. If somebody who is listening to me right now believes lies about themselves that you have no purpose that you are not good enough that you are worthless i ask you holy spirit to speak truth to my brother or sister that they would hear your voice telling them I created you. You are precious. There is nobody else on earth like you. I created you with a specific mission that only you can fulfill. You have everything you need to fulfill that mission because my spirit dwells within you. You are beautiful. You are intelligent. You are gifted. You are unique. Hear the voice of our Lord Jesus telling you, I love you infinitely. I died for you personally on the cross. even if you were the only person alive. 
I would have still died for you personally on the cross. Allow the words of our Lord Jesus to sink into your heart, to sink into your soul. Lord Jesus, embrace each person who's listening to me right now with your love, filling all the emptiness in their hearts. When maybe they were told they were not good enough, or they should have been told how loved they are by their parents, and they never experienced that. Blessed Mother Mary, our mother, I also ask you to embrace your children with your maternal love, maternal embrace, so that each one of your children, especially if they've had brokenness or lies or believed lies about themselves from their mothers, that you would right now speak words of love to them, telling them how precious they are as your children. Embrace each one of us with your maternal love, sweet Mother Mary. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, and replace our lies with your truth. Lord Jesus, you are truth, and the truth sets us free. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to set us free from the lies that we believe about ourselves. Come Holy Spirit, and fill us with your love. Any void in our hearts, that need your perfect love. Only your love can heal us. Heal us with your love. I pray all of this, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters of Christ, Again, this was this is Samia Zoom Out, and you were listening to Healing of the Soul. God willing, I will be with you again next week at the same time. God bless you all, and God bless your families. And remember always, Jesus loves you more than you can imagine. Turn to Jesus always, and he is waiting for you with open arms. God bless you. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. God bless you. Everything was great. Thanks. So, until next time. Thank Bye you. Bye bye. Join us October 9th through October 13th for the Fall Mariathon. It is your opportunity to help Our Lady forward the good news of her son. We are looking for donations both large and small. We appreciate anything you can My brothers and sisters in Christ on my YouTube channel, I just want to say hello to everyone, Sarah. Uh, I gave the phone number. Hopefully you got it. It's 866-333-6279 for the future. Hi, Sister Mayor Bernard. It's great to see you and the fifth graders uh, from Michigan. God bless you all. Um, Lorena, uh, uh, you have self-esteem uh, problems, you said, uh, because you were called uh, a name, which means English dwarf. I am so sorry. Um, I pray the Lord Jesus set you free. Uh, no that you are precious to the Lord and you are his daughter. 
uh, you are not a dwarf. You are a princess of the Almighty God. Um, and then... Tickets are asking you. Yes, I, I answered that question. Uh, thank you, Sarah, um, for your comments. Um, and thank you, Lorena. Um, and thank you, fifth graders, for uh, watching and for wanting to send me a letter. God be bless you all. And thank you, Yvette, for watching. God bless you too. I love you all. I wish you a very blessed uh, day and a very blessed week. Y viva Cristo Rey, which means God, uh, long live Christ the King. Saludos, Matías. Dios te bendiga. Qué bueno que estás con nosotros. And Lorena, that's awesome. Viva Cristo Rey. <laughs>